How to create a Fiverr seller account in 2023 step-by-step -step tutorial. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create your very own Fiverr seller account. It's gonna be pretty easy. It's gonna be really informational and really helpful for you. It's a great technique to do your freelancing and make money. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, first of all, what we're gonna do is obviously we're gonna go ahead and write Fiverr. Now, you probably do know what Fiverr is like. Fiverr has taken the world by a storm. Fiverr is the world's most top freelance service marketplace. People put their services on here and other people obviously avail their services. So it's a pretty good business place. Now, to basically, uh, you know, become a seller, pretty basic stuff. You're, all you're gonna do is obviously, first of all, you're gonna make a plan. You're gonna choose your niche. You're gonna choose what you're gonna do. Like you can do a lot of things. You can become an AI artist. You can be a logo designer, WordPress, a voiceover artist, video explainer, stuff like that. Like choose your niche. Then once you have chosen your niche, you're gonna come here and you're gonna click on the top right on become a seller. Now, once you click on become a seller over here, you can see work your way, you bring the skill, will make earning easy. A gig is bought every four seconds. Transactions can be done from 50 million plus. And the price range is five to $10,000 for your gigs. So pretty cool stuff. We can see how it works. Create a gig, sign up for free, set up your gig and offer your work to our global audience, deliver great work, Get notified when you get an order and use our system to discuss details with customers. And then finally, get paid on time, every time. Payment is available for withdrawal as soon as it clears. So yeah, pretty basic, pretty nice stuff, pretty good stuff to work with. So we're gonna be talking about uh, all of this today. Now to join this program, what you're gonna do is obviously you're gonna click on become a seller. Now for that, you're gonna to have to join Fiverr. You can join with anything. Now I'm gonna be using a temp mail to join, but if you're doing this in the long run, if you're doing this long term, I recommend that you use uh, a proper like email for yourself, like use your Gmail or something like that. But I'm gonna go with this for now, okay? Now once I have copied that, I'm gonna paste it here. I'm gonna click on continue. Choose a, a nice username for yourself. And once you have done that, what you're going to do is you're going to choose a password for yourself. So there we go. Now you're going to click on join. Now, once you've clicked on join, that is it. Like that was all it takes to become a seller on uh, your fiber. Now you have made yourself an account and everything and you have become a seller. But one of the first steps to like verify yourself is obviously activate your account. And for that, you're going to go to their link. And once you go to your email, to their link, you're gonna activate your account. And there you go. You are successfully into the seller section of Fiverr. Account successfully activated. Hey, this is a great time to edit your profile. So yes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and edit our profile so people can see what we really are and what we bring to the table. So you're gonna enter your full name once you enter your full name, you're going to like tell people about yourself. And uh, then like, obviously this was your main profile. Now here comes your, um, you could say public profile. Now, once that is done, you're going to come here ready to start selling on Fiverr. Here's the breakdown. Learn what makes a successful profile. Obviously like go and research as much as you can create your seller profile, add your profile picture description and professional information, and then finally publish your gig. So we're gonna click on continue. What makes a successful Fiverr profile? Obviously study all of this. Take your time in creating your profile, add credibility, accurately describe your skills, put a face to your name, and to keep your community secure for everyone, we may ask you for your ID. Now let's talk about the things you want to steer clear of, providing any misleading information, opening duplicate accounts, soliciting other community members, and requesting to take communication and payment outside of Fiverr. So obviously refrain from all of that. And once you've done that, obviously you're gonna come here and you're gonna enter all of your personal data, all of your personal information. Now, 
once you've all received, like, I'm just going to skim through this really quick. I'm going to add a random profile picture of myself. Like, do know this, a profile picture is extremely important. So please do make sure to add one of yourself. So I'm just going to add some random bits. Once you have random uh, things, add a description. I'm just going to go ahead and add that. There we go. We are to 150. Add a language that you obviously speak in. I'm going to go with English, obviously. So we're going to find English. It's going to be in E. There we go. So you're going to add in English. You're going to choose your language level. Okay. And uh, yeah, once you have done that, you're going to click on continue. So once you do that, this is the crucial section because now you're in your professional info section. And the professional info section is what really matters. Like this is where like people are going to come and see, okay, this guy is the real deal. So first of all, your occupation, you're going to tell people what you do and what you're going to do for them. So it could be digital marketing, graphics and design, you know, stuff like that. I'm going to go with graphics and design from now. You're going to choose the years you have been working on this. So like, I'm not saying like fabricated, but to some extent, you need to give a view to the audience that, okay, this person has been doing this for a while. So over exaggerated a bit, but obviously not too much. So I'm going to go with 2005 to 2023. Or like if you feel like it's a bit too exaggerated, you can just go for 10 years, okay? 10 years is a lot of time for graphics and design. So now it says choose two to five of your best skills in graphics and designs. So like choose what are in nowadays. Choose what people are doing mostly nowadays. So you could go with AI artists. You could go with uh, UX design. Um, and uh, you could go with t-shirts and merchandise. Graphics for streamers. And then you can also either go with app design or game art, like these things, or also website design, like people have been doing that stuff for nowadays as well. Now, once you've chosen these, you're going to go on skills. Now, in the skills, let's say in graphic design, you're going to write your skills. So let's say Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. Okay, that's your skill experience level expert. And uh, you can add more. You can add as many as you want. So let's say Illustrator. Okay. Adobe Illustrator, your skill. Okay, I'm going to go with that. Illustrator, there we go. Experience level expert, add. And like you get the point. You get how you're going to add that stuff. Then obviously you're going to add the, your like college or university, stuff like that. This isn't compulsory, but I just prefer if you add it because it just makes your profile look much more professional. And uh, like it's not necessary. You need to like, prove that you actually went to this major or anything you can also add something up but trust me don't add something too wild like harvard law or something like that if you did go to harvard law then please do add it by all means but don't add something so like unbelievable so once you've done that you're going to click on continue and you're going to come to linked accounts now in the linked account section obviously it's as it says you can link your other social accounts to your fiber. So yeah, once you've done that, just complete your account security and you are good to go. That is how simple it is to become a seller on Fiverr and create your profile. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching till the end of the video. I hope you all have a great day. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.